Hello there everyone, GMAC again, back with another video. So here you're looking at my uh, Forney 235 ACDC welder, giving it a little workout today. I just uh, welded these, just threw some paint on them. They were broke off that holds the ramps on my trailer. So I thought I'd give a little short review video and show you me welding. And let me first give you a disclaimer. I am not a professional welder. I'm a backyard welder. And with a stick welder, I'm learning as I go. MIG welding I've been doing for probably about 20 years and still learning with that. So on this stick welder, I, I wanted a welder that was simple and basic. As you can see, simple turn knob to adjust your size and it gives you basic information of what you need to weld with in DC and in AC the the terminals are also that you can disconnect them and what I find very interesting and awesome about that is and why, one of the reasons why I bought it is I can buy longer uh, electrodes so so far it's working out pretty good I have about off the top of my head because I got this two years ago and didn't get to use it too much but uh, it has worked and served me for what I need and I don't have a whole lot of money in it I probably paid it was on sale I got a hundred dollars off it I think I'm around a three hundred dollar mark and uh, as you can see gave uh, five three and one I think one year was on everything three years on parts or I'm not exactly sure on everything on it but for the bang for the buck I probably will have this welder for the rest of my life so uh, let's skip all the talking and I'll do some DC welding with it maybe we'll try the AC I've never used AC before still learning about that so uh, I'll show you some welding with it first I have to do some prep work with my grinder and I'm using my Milwaukee four and a half inch uh, angle grinder and uh, so far so good this one's working out pretty good I also have another one and maybe I'll show that one in a future video but uh, all in all this Milwaukee's working out pretty good you'll see here in a minute so here we go So you get that ground out as far as you can. A little tight for space in the back of the trailer. And we take a punch and a hammer. Take that same grinder. And I am using the bow the Bauer grinding wheels, cutoff wheels. So far, so good. All right, on to the welder. Okay, we want to gear ourselves up for this. Some nice forney gloves. Got them at the same place as I did the welder. I'm also using the Vulcan 6011 electrode. Pretty well available. I think it was five bucks for maybe ten dollars for that whole pack. There's uh, two pounds worth in there. I didn't count them. 
And let's give this a try. actually rose up on me there a little bit but all in all I think the welder works pretty good let that cool a little bit meanwhile we can take our wire brush again I am no professional welder I get by and I'm still learning I do not have a lot of, as they call seat time welding with a stick welder but I'm learning and if I take time at it I'll get really good at it so as you can see I don't think it did too bad and it's gonna serve for what I'll need I'll take the grinder clean that up a little bit I have a little burr here I have to get rid of but uh, all in all, works pretty good. If we go back over here to the welder. What I like about this welder is one, it was pretty cheap, and it and it's heavy. It's oh geez, it's probably what 65 pounds, 55 pounds, something like that. So it seems to be pretty good. Uh, I believe it's made in France. Uh, so here you can turn on and off with a glove. It did not come with a cart. I had a old pressure washer cart with nice size wheels on it and I strapped it to it. I'll probably make uh, some better stuff around it later on and hang, hang electrodes and whatnot. So, uh, but uh, all in all, I think uh, for the money and how often I arc weld, I think this uh, welder works very well. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. This is GMEC. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, remember, keep on wrenching.